Hey everyone, in this video, we'll implement the climb up animation that will allow us to climb on top of large obstacles like this. Okay, so let's look at how to implement this. So right now, we have actions to jump up on small obstacles like this, but we don't have an action for climbing larger obstacles like this one. Right? So let's create an action for that. So first I'll import the animation for climbing up bigger obstacles. So this is an animation that I downloaded from Mixamo. I'll attach it in the resource section of this lecture so that you can download it. Okay. So first let's make the animation humanoid so that we can test it on our character. So I'll select copy from other avatar since this is an animation. And for the avatar, I'll select the Erika Archer. Okay. So now we should be able to preview the animation on our player. So let me just drag and drop the player over here. All right, so this is the animation. So implementing this action is going to be a bit more tricky. The reason is because if you look at the end of the animation, the character stays in a crouched position, right? But in our third person controller, we don't have a crouched state. So we'll have to make the character stand up from this crouch position. So I searched all over Mixamo and I couldn't find an animation where the player climbs up an obstacle and stand. So the only option we have is to combine this animation with another animation which makes the player stand from a crouched position. Okay. So I have also downloaded an animation for that from Mixamo. So let me go ahead and import it. Okay. So first we have to make it humanoid so that we can view it on our player. Okay. So now if I drag the player into the preview window, I should be able to preview the animation. Okay. So this is just a simple animation where the character stands from a crouched position. All right. So we'll have to combine these two animations to create our climb up action. So first let's set up our wall climb animation. So if you play the animation, as you can see that the player actually takes a step before climbing up on the obstacle, right? So we don't want the part where the player takes the step. We only want the jumping part. So we can just trim the animation and start from somewhere around frame seven. Okay. So I'll set the start frame to seven. All right. So next, we don't want this animation to have any rotation. So I'll change the based upon to original and I'll check bake into pose. Okay. So next for the root transform Y and root transform exit, we should not check bake into pose because the player is actually moving in both Y and exit direction. Right. So we don't want to check bake into pose for those. But for root transform Y, I'll change the based upon to feet. So this will help solve any floating issues while transitioning between animations, just like we've seen in the previous video. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit apply. So next I'll set up the crouched animation. So here also I don't want the player to rotate. So I'll change the based upon to original and I'll check bake into pose. All right. So next for the root transform position Y, I'll change the base upon to feet, just so that we don't have any feet floating issues. Okay. So next let's play the animation and let's see if we can, let's see if we can trim anything. Okay. So I want this to be a pretty quick animation because we are going to combine it with the wall climb animation right 
so we can trim the first two three frames because there isn't much change in it the player only starts standing after the third frame right and I'll also remove the last few frames after frame 15 because there isn't much change in the animation so let me just set the start frame to 3 and the end frame to 15 okay so now we have a shorter animation so let me go ahead and hit apply all right so now let's add these two animations to our animator controller so first I'll add the ball climb animation okay let me actually rename this to climb up all right and after playing the climb up animation instead of going back to the locomotion I'll go ahead and play the crouched to stand animation okay so let me drag and drop it over here and I'll name it crouched to stand okay and I'll make a transition from climb up to crouch to stand so now after playing the climb up animation we'll transition to the crouch to stand animation okay and finally once the crouch to stand animation is complete we can go back to our locomotion state so that the player can walk and run again okay so our climb up action needs two animations but all we have to do is just play this animation right and once it's complete it'll automatically transition to the crouch to stand animation all right so let's go ahead and implement the climb up action now so in game inside Paco actions I'll create a new Paco action called climb up okay so in this action we have to play the climb up animation so I'll set the animation name to climb up so next the minimum height of the obstacles for which this action should be performed is going to be 1.5 since that's actually the maximum height of the jump up action okay so it's going to be the main height of the climb up action and let's set the max height to something like 2.5 so this animation will work on obstacles that are between 1.5 and 2.5 meters high okay so next I'll check rotate to obstacle because we want the player to rotate towards the obstacle while performing this action so next let's assign the target matching settings so we don't need target matching for this animation because it can be performed on obstacles with different height so let's look at the climb up animation again and let's see how we can do the target matching so if you play the animation you can see that the player is trying to grab the ledge of the obstacle by using his right hand right so right hand is a perfect candidate for doing target matching and we can match it towards the edge of our obstacle so let's also look at what target time and start time to use so target time can be somewhere over here around 24 percentage and for the start time 8% seems to be like a good start time because that's when the player is launching to the air all right so let's go ahead and set those values in our Paco action so the match body part will be the right hand the match start time will be 8% so that is 0 0.08 when we normalize okay and the match target time is 24 percentage right so that'll be 0 0.24 after normalizing all right so these are the settings that we need in our climb up action 
So let's go ahead and add this action to our Paco controller. So here I'll add a new action and I'll drag and drop the climb path action. Okay. So now let's go ahead and test if it's working. Okay. So let me try to climb up this obstacle. So you can see that the player is climbing up on top of the obstacle, but it looks a bit weird, right? The reason for that is because the player is not grabbing the ledge correctly. All right. So the reason for that is because while doing the target matching, we are only matching the Y coordinate, right? So until now, we only had actions where the player had to place his feet on an obstacle. So in those cases, we just had to match the height. But for this action, since the player has to grab the ledge of the obstacle correctly, we also have to match the Z coordinate. Right? So I'll change the Z coordinate to 1 in the weight mask. And now if we test, the climb up animation will look much better. Okay. So yeah, you can see that it looks much better. Right? There's a little bit of clipping, but we'll fix that soon. So we have to match the Z coordinate for the climb up action. But we don't really need that for the step up and jump up action. Let me show you why. So if we match the Z coordinate, then the player will step up on the edge of the obstacle, right? It looks okay, but I think it'll look better if we don't match the Z coordinate. So what we can do is we can use different weight mask for different actions by making it a variable over here so here i'll create a new variable of type vector 3 and i'll call this match position weight okay and let me set it to a vector of 0 comma 1 comma 0 by default because by default for most animations, we'll just have to match the Y coordinate. Okay. So next, let me also create a property to expose this variable. I'll create it over here. Okay. looks like I made a mistake in the spelling of weight. So let me just rename it by using control RR. Okay. And let me also change it in the property. So now let's go ahead and assign the weight for our actions. So for jump up and step up, we only want to match the Y coordinate. All right. But for climb up, we can also match the Z coordinate, right? Since the player has to grab the ledge correctly. So next, we can use the match position weight while performing the target matching. So here I'll remove this and pass action dot match position weight instead. Okay. So now let's go ahead and test it. All right. So the climb up animation is working properly since we are matching the Z coordinate. Okay. So now let's test the step up and jump up actions. So yeah, you can see that while performing the step up action, the player is not stepping on the edge since we are only matching the Y coordinate. Okay. So yeah, all our animations look fine. So next, let's look at another problem that we have in the climb up action. So if I perform the climb up action and if I keep holding the forward input, you can see that the player did a little bit of sliding, right? So we only have this problem for the climb up action. We don't have it for the others. 
so the reason for this is because if you look at the parkour controller code while performing the action we are making the code wait for the length of the animation right but in case of the climb up action we have two animations so we have the climb up and the crouch to stand animation but the thing is we are only waiting for the length of the climb up animation okay and after that we are giving the control to the player controller so while the crouch to stand animation is being played the player will be able to move it okay so how can we fix this so if you look at the crouch to stand animation it's a pretty short animation with length 0.4 seconds so what we can do is we can wait for an additional 0.4 seconds before giving the control back to the player controller okay so for that in the parkour action i'll create a new variable so this will be a float variable and i'll call it post action delay all right and let me also create a property to expose it so now after performing the animation we can wait for the seconds given in the post action delay variable before giving the control to the player okay so i'll use new wait for seconds function to wait for the post action delay all right so for most actions this is going to be zero so the score is not going to do anything but for actions with two animations this will be really useful okay so let's go ahead and set it so let me select the climb up animation and i'll set the post action delay to 0.4 since that's the length of the crouch to stand animation all right for the other two animations it's going to be zero so let's go ahead and test this now all right so now you can see that we don't have that sliding issue i'm only able to control the player after the crouched to stand animation is complete okay So next, we still have a small issue while performing the climb up action. The player's leg is clipping a little through the obstacle, right? So if you look at the animation closely, as you can see that the player is not grabbing the edge of the obstacle. So let's look at it again. So it's kind of okay, but she's not grabbing the edge of it right so usually such issues happen if the target time passed for target matching is not correct so the target time that we assigned was 0.24 so let's look at the animation again all right so we can actually try increasing the target time to something like 0.28 because that's when the character is fully grabbing the ledge right so in our climb up action let's try increasing it to 0.28 and let's try testing now okay so yeah that looks much better right so now the player's leg is not clipping through the obstacle and she is grabbing the ledge much more accurately all right so let me just test it from multiple directions to make sure it looks okay so yeah our climb up animation is looking okay so i'll stop the video here and i'll see you in the next video